Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from MSC2 and this is our video presentation for SKJ3103 Operational System Assignment 2 Clock Replacement Algorithm. But before that, allow us to introduce ourselves. My name is Alia Farhana binti Muhammad Nasran. Metric number is 1180464. My name is Zahida binti Muhammad Abdul Rashid. Metric number 1180476. In the clock policy, each frame has a use speed which is either 1 or 0. Whenever we want to replace a page from a frame, we need to consider the number of the use speed. If the frame has one use speed, the page cannot replace the use speed from the frame. However, if the frame has zero use speed, then the page can be replaced. As you can see, the page address stream has three empty frames. Later on, we'll go through the process of filling in the pages in the provided frames. Note that the asterisk symbol indicates one use bit. If there is no asterisk, means that there is a zero use bit. The letter F indicates a page fault that occurs after the frame allocation is filled. Without further ado, let's get right into it. For the first three page address streams, we can just simply add them to the frames. It is by default that when a page is initially loaded in the empty frame, the use speed is 1. After page 2 enter, the pointer will move to the next frame. Uh, same goes with the page 4 and 5. Notice that when 4 enter, the pointer will move to the frame 3 and when 5 enter, the pointer will move and back to the square 1. So, here comes the most important part. When page 3 enter, Initially, it cannot enter because pointer is positioned at frames that consist of one use bit. As my friend mentioned earlier, whenever we want to replace a page from a frame, we need to consider the number of the use bit. In this case, we need to change the one use bit into zero use bit. When page cannot enter the frame, the pointer will move to the next frame. As it goes to the next, the previous frame will become zero use bit. If you look at here, 5 want to enter frame 1, but it is not possible because of 1 speed. so the pointer moved to the next. Notice that now frame 1 has 0 speed. Then, 5 want to replace the second frame, but it still got asterisk, which is 1 speed. Afterwards, pointer moved to frame 3, and frame 3 have 1 speed also. So, so the pointer goes back to the square 1. Now, all frames no longer have 1 speed. Therefore, page 3 can easily replace the first frame because the pointer position at frame 1 in the previous column. Don't forget to put asterisk symbol as well because, as I said before, whenever page is initially loaded in the frame, it will be set to 1 use bit. And just like usual, the pointer will move to the next frame. So if we look at the pointer position at frame 2 here, it no longer has 1 use bit. Therefore, page 2 can easily replace it. Then pointer move to the next one and same goes with page 5. Page 6 can replace it and pointer move to the next one. Notice that page 1 cannot fill in the frame because all of the frames has one use bit. Therefore, we need to use the same method like we did previously. And also, page 4 will occur for all 3 pages 3, 2 and 6. So how do we make a page 1 replace the pages in the frame? Just like we did previously, page 1 cannot enter the frame 1 yet because of 1 use bit, so pointer move to the next. Frame 1 becomes 0 use bit. And then, page 1 want to enter frame 2, it still cannot enter, then the pointer will move to the next one. And frame 2 becomes 0 use bit. And at frame 3, it still cannot enter, then it will pointer move to the next one, frame 3 becomes 0 use bit. Pointer back to the square 1 at this time. Then, Page 1 can replace frame 1 since it is now 0 use bit. Page 1 enter with use bit set it to 1. The pointer is now at the second frame. Since there is a 0 use bit here, the next page can simply enter and now the frame has 1 use bit. The pointer will then move to the next frame and a page fault occurred here. The third frame also has a 0 use bit, allowing page 6 to enter the frame. The pointer does not move to the next frame because the page is in the allocated frame, so there is no page fault here. However, the use speed is now set to 1, as usual. And finally, for page 2, as you can see, the frame with the pointer has 1 use speed. So, we might need to go through the same processes we did before.
Page 2 cannot enter the third frame because of the one use bit. So the pointer will traverse to the first frame. And now the third frame has a zero use bit. However, the page still cannot enter the first frame because there is a one use bit here. So the pointer will move to the second frame and the first frame has zero use bit now. The same thing happens in the second frame. So the pointer will move to the third frame and the second frame now has zero use bit. Since the third frame has a zero use bit from before, the final page 2 can enter the third frame. The frame is then set to one use bit. The pointer will move towards the first frame and a page fault occurred here. So the final outcome of the clock replacement algorithm for the page address stream is with a total of six page faults. And that's all from the two of us. Thanks for watching. Bye.